Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video on the bearish engulfing pattern. Before I get started, a very handy resource to use is Investopedia.com. If you ever have any questions on anything, you can go to Investopedia.com and type in you know, any terminology you want up here. And as you can see, this is like your textbook, perfect definition of a small um, you know, bullish candle that's wrapped inside of a bigger bullish candle. So it kind of engulfs it. So I'm sorry, bearish candle <laughs> envelops the bullish one, right? So you see a bearish candlestick enveloping or engulfing that smaller uh, candlestick. So typically in an uptrend, you might see this happen, a small, you know, bullish candlestick being engulfed by a bearish one showing a potential reverse in trend. Not always, it's not 100%, just like trading, nothing's always 100%, but it's kind of a kind of um, the idea of it, you know, when a stock's moving up, you start to see a bearish engulfing pattern. Be careful of a potential reverse look for me. So let's take a look at some examples here. Let's go over to GM. You'll see a couple of them here. So price is starting to kind of move up here. Um, you can start to see, I mean, not the greatest uptrend, you know, is up and you can see some indecision up here. And then you can see this big red candle enveloped this green one not a perfect looking one again i like to show you some that look really good and then some in the real world but this kind of goes to show you over here okay this big red candle you know is enveloping this green one you can see what happened you know price started going bearish and there it goes it's a big warning sign uh when something like that happens you know when a bearish candle envelops a green one that's uh again potential sign of reversal which in this case, it did. You can look over here again. Uh, you can see this one right here, bearish engulfing. So price is kind of trading sideways over here around the moving average lines. Big red candle enveloped this green one here. And look, price is tanked after that. So you can see two really big bearish engulfing candles right here. Let's take a look at MMM, three Ms. You can see... Uh, bearish engulfing. You can see price was in an uptrend up here, right at its peak. RSI was overextended. And this big red candle kind of enveloped this green one here. And what did it do? Price fell right back down to the moving average lines, right? So in an uptrend right here, you see a sign like this. Look out. That's not a good sign. You can see over here, you know, price was kind of trading sideways, kind of consolidating. This, here we go. This is a really perfect looking bearish engulfing one, right? It's really small candle, green one, indecision, doji candle within this big bearish candle. And then price just started to fade over there. Again, these patterns are not always perfect. Uh, sometimes you might see a bearish engulfing and price could continue to go upwards. Uh, nothing is perfect when trading. Obviously, anything can happen at any time. That's why it's important to look at the big overall picture when trading. Cat. Caterpillar. Zoom in here. Bearish engulfing. So, price is overextended on the RSI. Uh, it was moving away. It was away from the moving average lines. You can see this green little doji candle enveloped by or engulfed by this big bearish candle. And what did price do? It started to kind of move and then it just faded after that. So it's, you know, again, in an uptrend when you see this, look out. That's a very bad sign because it's showing again, it's just the technicals. You got to look at everything together, right? This candlestick tells a story. This pattern right here, this bearish engulfing pattern tells a story. Where price is in relation to the moving average lines tells a story. And then these other indicators like RSI and stuff tell another story. It shows, okay, this is a big warning sign. Look out. Let's look at uh, Disney over here. I mean, look at this. This is a this whole chart is a mess over here. But you can see this one is a bearish engulfing one, kind of hidden in all this. Uh, but you can see um, this big red candle, you know, formed or, en or engulfed uh, this green one over here. And then it just got messy and it, it faded. But look, I mean, this, this chart is just a mess. But you got to find these things. There's all these other patterns within these patterns as well. But this chart overall is just a very messy looking chart. Let's take a look at Johnson & Johnson, JNJ. &J. Uh, price right over here. It's kind of trading in the sideways kind of trend. Got up over here. You can see this green candle. Not totally enveloped, but it's in it, right? You know, it tells a story. Again, I don't want to show you perfect patterns all the time, but just understand what it's doing. 
And obviously, as you can see, this big red candle kind of forms and kind of uh, en engulfs the spinning kind of top or a doji-ish candle. And what did it do? Price just faded after that. All right, let's look at UTX. This is a really good looking one. So price overextended over here, really high up on RSI, really big up channel, big red engulfing candle, totally engulfed this uh, green candle. This is perfection. Look at that. It kind of basically just en engulfed it. But look, it just came down and it held the nine EMAs or the 9 EMA, and then it moved up. But you can see this is a mess right here. Very choppy, very uh, difficult to trade this. But as you can see, the peak of that red candle didn't get up much, too much higher above that before it just kind of faded. But um, again, you got to be careful. Look at these warning signs. This is a perfect looking engulfing candle. Bearish one. All right, let's take a look at V. Uh, another example up here. Price moving up. In an uptrend, price overextended on the RSI at a peak, big bearish uh, candle engulfing this green one right here. What did price do? You know, it fell down here. Now you got to be very careful after this, and you see these dojis right around that 9 EMA. That's not really good. And obviously, you can see price just faded after that. So, again, bearish engulfing pattern. Let's take a look at ABC. So now it's not really in an uptrend over here. Price is just, it's just kind of, look at all this. This is, it's lots of craziness going on over here. Um, and as you can see, well, this would have been kind of like a head and shoulders pattern. That would have been a head, left shoulder. You can see that the right shoulder was forming here. So a head and shoulders pattern. Kind of at this right shoulder here, you can see, Look at this uh, green candle, like doji or top, spinning top, was engulfed by that big red get bearish candle. And look at it, just timber after that, right? So being aware of, you know, these individual candlesticks, but then being aware of this bigger overall pattern and looking at horizontal support and resistance and then being aware of something like this. Look at the gap. There's a gap here. So price tricked you like it was going to go into that gap. It had the 200 SMA above it. So you have to be aware of all these other technical indicators. Remember, uh, you got to look at the individual candlesticks, smaller patterns, the bigger patterns, moving average lines, other indicators, and let the big picture tell its story. Again, it takes a while to learn candlesticks. It takes looking at hundreds, if not thousands of charts. There's no easy way around it. I wish there was. Trading's hard. Uh, but like anything, you got to study and put in the work. Uh, that's why we're putting in this whole tutorial series and a whole course on candlesticks because, again, it's the name of the game when trading. Um, I, I don't want to say there's nothing more important than candlesticks, but if you remove everything and just have candlesticks, it tells a very, very powerful story when trading.